guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Kawaii World. So today I'm going to take you shopping at Daiso again, but instead of going to the stationery section, we're going to check out the rest of the store. And I'm going to share with you 30 things that I like to buy at Daiso. Make sure to check out last week's video. If you missed it, I will link it at the end. In next week's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 different K-Beauty road shop brands that you need to know about and what you should buy when you go there. So make sure to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss that video. And let's go shopping at Daiso. Number one, cute plush toys. These will range from about three to 5,000 won. And you can find pillows to put on your bed and also these little keychains that you could hook on your bag or your backpack. I think that they are really cute. They also have shower slippers because in Korea you often wear slippers into the bathroom because the shower can spray all over the bathroom floor, sometimes leaving it wet. Number three is character merchandise. This stuff is changing up all the time. When I went, Frozen was really popular so they had a lot of these Frozen things. I thought this sticker set was really cool. They're pretty good at keeping up with the trends and a lot of times these things will change seasonally. It always makes you want to go back and see what's new at Daiso. And sometimes they will have Disney and Sanrio and character merchandise that I think is actually licensed. I thought that these Alice in Wonderland dishes were super cute. My daughters both have this sticker book set and I think it makes for a really great gift for a five-year-old. Here's some more Alice in Wonderland merchandise. I think these glittery cups are really cute. And when I went, Frozen 2 had just been released. So as you can see, there's a ton of Anna and Elsa Frozen 2 merchandise. Always good for the four to five year old set who's really into Disney princesses as Sienna was. I also saw these Alice in Wonderland suitcase covers, which I think are really nice to help protect your suitcase. And actually, Daiso is a great place to get travel stuff. So they have all of these sleeping masks. That bear one was so cute. And I love their luggage tags. And they also have, you know, just little things that you might need when you're traveling, like a passport case or a suitcase strap or packing cubes and other bags to help organize your suitcase. I already have some packing cubes, but if I didn't, I would definitely consider purchasing those because they're only 2,000 won. I think that mine were about $10 each. These travel slippers also come in handy if you're not staying in like a four or five star hotel and you don't want to walk on the floor. And if I didn't already have a ton of travel cases for my toiletries, I would totally buy the Alice one. Those hard travel cases are always good for things that you don't want to get crushed. And here are a bunch more packing cubes. So this next section is what I think in the US we call tchotchkes. Just little figurines and statues and things that you can put on your shelf or your counter to kind of decorate your space and add a little bit of personality. My grandma actually used to have a china cabinet where she kept all of these little mini figures. I think that this post office mailbox is super cute. That's a Korean one and I also saw a Japanese one here. I don't know why but I really like looking at all of these little mini figures. I don't think that I would ever buy any of these because they would just end up collecting dust on my shelf but Maybe I could justify something by purchasing a coin bank and just putting all my extra coins in that because you always need a coin bank, right? My husband always has extra change lying around, so this would be perfect. So actually the reason that we went to Daiso this day was to buy these name stickers. And these come in really handy because when my kids go to school, they have to put their name on everything. So you can get your name stickers in Korean or you can use uh, English or Roman lettering. And you can put your first and last name or just your first name. And you can also add your phone number. My kids chose the Frozen design, but they have all these different designs and it only costs 1,000 won, which is less than one US dollar and you get a full sheet. 
Number seven, cute kitchen accessories. They have some really cute timers and all kinds of cookie cutters, including the kind that you can imprint onto shortbread cookies. And they also have all kinds of spatulas and spoons and rice scoopers that have cute little details on them. If you lost your sunglasses or you need to pick up a cheap pair, then you can buy some here for 5,000 won, which is not bad. Number nine is cute keychains. Number 10, hair accessories. I like to buy these little rubber bands for my kids. When they were little, their hair was really fine, so those bigger rubber bands wouldn't really hold it. It would just slip off. And they also have these glittery, sparkly hair clips and barrettes. These are super pretty. Car accessories. In Korea, people will often double park, so you can buy these little placards and write your phone number on it. So if you're double parked, then someone can call you and ask you to move your car. In the US, I think that would be a little bit creepy or present a safety issue, but that's what people do here. They also have these little bobbleheads that can bring a little joy to you while you're driving your car. And for some reason, I'm always losing the cap on my tire. I guess I'm not the only one because they sell these four packs here. They also have some cute air fresheners here. Personally, I don't use air fresheners because I don't like fragrances and I think they contain carcinogens. These little pads are things that you can put on your door so when you open your door, you don't scratch the car next to you. The parking spaces in Korea are really tight because number one, they're small and number two, everyone seems to drive an oversized luxury vehicle. This was really cool, I thought. It's something that you can use to scrape the ice off of your car because it gets really cold in Korea. These are bathroom decals that you can use to decorate your bathroom and sort of personalize it. I think this is nice for people who live in apartments. Number 13, all kinds of clocks. This one is super retro, it kind of reminds me of the 80s for some reason. Daiso is also a nice place to get inexpensive picture frames. They have a lot of smaller frames, but I wasn't able to find the larger poster size frames. And if you're American, you want to make sure and check the dimensions of the photo frames carefully because some of them are A4 and those don't really fit um, the 8x10 photos so you just want to make sure that the frame will fit your photo. You also want to check how you are going to hang the frame or set it up because I bought one of those glass ones and I found that I had nowhere to put it. These mini clothespins are also a nice way to hang photos. These are multi-purpose spray bottles that you can use for watering plants or anything and they also have a lot of really cute vases here. I'm going to have to pick up some of these before I move back to the States because they're really inexpensive and they look really nice. Some of the vases actually have sort of a Jonathan Adler vibe to them which I really like and if you're not into those kind of vases they also have cute vases like this little panda and Daiso also sells fake plants as well as real plants. These are picnic mats which come in handy if you're going on a picnic at the park. And what I really like to buy at Daiso are storage containers. I think they have a really nice selection here. They also have a small selection of workout gear so it's a great place to buy a yoga mat. You can get one for about 5,000 won. They also have exercise bands, an ab roller, and lightweight weights. This is a back scratcher. Go ahead and buy one. It feels so good. In the winter time, they have a nice selection of gloves and mittens and hats and scarves. They even have kid sizes here. So if you're visiting Korea in the winter and you've lost one of your gloves or you forgot to bring your gloves, then this is a great place to come and pick some up. These are mosquito repellent stickers. They contain citronella, so they repel mosquitoes. And they also have acne patches here. At Korean preschool, if your child needs to take medicine, you have to put it into these little miniature bottles so they can give them one serving. Daiso also has a big selection of pill boxes, but I think you can also use this to store little trinkets in. You can buy a single face mask here, so when the air is bad or if you're afraid of coronavirus, then this can help to protect you. They also sell undergarments here, like bra stickers and 
shorts that you can wear so that people don't see your underwear when you wear a skirt. Daiso also sells these little clay kits and last deco and just little craft kits for kids and I think these are really nice. They make for sort of an easy art project. If you like miniature things or putting together puzzles, then you can also get them at Daiso. Daiso also has a little miniature toy section with cheap plastic toys for kids. Everything is like two or three thousand won, so it's pretty inexpensive. These toys kind of remind me of the prizes that they will give out in Japan uh, when you buy a kid's meal. They'll usually give you a basket where you can choose a cheap plastic toy or some stickers. If you want to stock up on children's books in Korean, they have a nice section where they have children's fairy tales written in Korean. So these are fairy tales that you will probably recognize like The Princess and the Pea or Hansel and Gretel and Rapunzel, Aladdin. And I also think that they're pretty nicely illustrated. So if you want to buy a bunch of books for your kids in Hangul, then this is a great place to get a few basics. Daiso carries a good selection of phone cables and screen protectors and other little accessories. So if you break yours or if you forget to bring it, because you know you always forget to bring your charger, you can come to Daiso and pick up a inexpensive one. When Valentina was younger, she would always like to chew on my iPhone cable for some reason. So I've purchased many iPhone cables here. She doesn't chew on my cables anymore, but now it seems like whenever I run the Roomba, it always ends up eating my iPhone cable. So the tip of it will get bent and the wires will start to stick out. So I feel like I can never have enough phone charging cables. And finally, a tripod or a selfie stick. This will come in handy in Korea if you want to take all those Instagram photos. If you missed my last video on all of the cool stationary items that you have to buy at Daiso, then check out this video and let me know in the comments what you guys like to purchase at Daiso.